deluxe edition of the Stars and Stripes, MacGyver is being shown in Guam. He went on to say that he's sure there's a way for us to get that program here. First, let me explain that Guam does not have an Armed Forces radio and television outlet and is not part of the Far East Network. Second, as I have said before, we are only authorized to air broadcast materials that are provided to us by our broadcast center. At this time, MacGyver is not scheduled to be distributed to this detachment. During April, there was a scheduled water outage in the plaza housing area. Tech Sergeant Paul Dallenberg sent this letter to feedback regarding the radio announcement of the water outage. On April 8, 1987, at 0629 hours, while listening to FEN AM radio, the broadcaster announced that there would be a massive water outage in plaza housing. He also stated that he didn't think we care to hear the listing of facility numbers as there were about 50 of them. Furthermore, he stated if we had a question as to which buildings will not have water, we should call the station. If the purpose of FEN is to broadcast this type of information, why should we, the listener, have to call in? Does the FEN building have sufficient telephone circuits so when I call, I won't get a busy signal because of the other hundreds of people who could call in at the same time? Is it the FEN policy to pass on information after editing or deciding to limit the amount of information to be passed on? I have spoken with the radio announcer who asked his listeners to call in, and you know what? Not one person called in to ask which buildings would be affected. This particular water outage had been scheduled for at least two weeks in advance and was aired for 10 days prior to the outage on both radio and television. On the day you heard the announcement, it had already been airing for nine of the ten days. In the time it would have taken the DJ to read all of those building numbers, he could have shared at least two or three other announcements with his listeners. By the way, there were exactly 47 building numbers on this announcement. Mrs. Marilyn Chung wrote in about Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. She stated that our scheduling of these two programs is erratic and asked that we put them on at the same time every day. We received three issues of Sesame Street per week, which have been airing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings following the Today Show. The Monday issue has been repeated on Thursday afternoons around 3 p.m. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood is scheduled for Wednesday afternoons and is repeated on Thursday mornings around 8 a.m. These program times have not changed since our schedule overhaul back in February. Twice, however, Sesame Street was joined in progress due to the length of a sporting event during our alternative programming on Monday morning. Because of the length of the Monday morning sporting event, we've moved our Monday morning sign-on time to 7 a.m., and Sesame Street will no longer be scheduled in that block. Airman Keith Brooks wrote in with this letter to feedback concerning the cartoons. I feel the cartoons you have are too high-tech. Whatever happened to the classics? My question is, why can't FEN bring these classic cartoons like Rocky and Bowwinkle, Underdog, and Dudley Do-Right back? Unfortunately, we do not get to choose which cartoons are sent to this detachment. But due to the demand for classic cartoons, as well as the need for additional children's programming, our video librarian started putting together Cartoon Carnival. This half-hour program, which has been airing for over a month now, is comprised of a number of the older classic cartoons, which are part of our temporary television library, and were initially intended to be used individually as fillers. I've received as many requests for classic old cartoons as the high-tech robot variety, like GoBots and Transformers. Right now, we are only receiving one high-tech type cartoon, Robotech which is a very popular program. And here's some good news. I have received word that The Cosby Show will be returning to FEN TV Channel 8 late this summer. Next time on Feedback, I'll answer your...